hi everyone welcome to my channel so i've been gone for a minute but your girl is back okay so today's treatment i'm doing a facial so a facial is simply a back facial during this treatment of course you have deep cleansing deep exfoliation and a couple of masks to um correct any breakouts on the back such as back knee clogged pores and also we're able to um, treat the skin and hydrate the skin my lovely client here she is one of my sd besties um she does surf suffer from um a little back acne up on her shoulders and she has a little bit discoloration and super super dry skin so we're gonna get her right today so of course I start off by cleansing her skin um, the first cleanser I use is the skin scrub love 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 my favorite brand um, it's their green tea citrus cleanser so this cleanser is great for all skin types it's a really great cleanser to start off any facial treatment so while we're cleansing her skin we're also having the steamer rolling in to really get her pores nice and softened so when it's time for extractions they'll just slide right out um, I did go in with a second cleanser, and this is also from Skin Script. It is their pomegranate um, cleanser, and this is a really nice milky cleanser. Great for sensitive and dry skin. So with the second cleanser, I'm actually going in with these heart-shaped sponges I got from Amazon. And this is to help really manipulate that cleanser into the skin. And then I'm also going to remove the cleanser with that same, uh, with those same sponges. So after the cleansing, we're going to use the cucumber toner from Skin Script. And this is going to balance out her skin as well as kind of degreasing her skin before I start the microdermabrasion treatment. And of course, we're starting the microdermabrasion treatment. So this is the part of the facial that is going to deeply exfoliate her skin. So we're going to remove any um, debris, impurities, and really get that skin to a nice even um, base by removing those dead skin cells. So when you're doing this treatment, whether it's on the face, the back, anywhere on the body, you wanna make sure that you are one, holding the skin taut. Two, make sure you're not going over the same area with too many passes. And then after your pass, you wanna make sure you apply pressure. Um, if the skin is appearing red or ashy, totally fine. Um, the treatment is working. And also keep an open communication with your client. I always ask them, you know, is this too much pressure for you? How is it feeling? Anything tingling? You know, just anything that may be out the norm because you never know. Just make sure you keep an open communication with your client. Ask them questions. Um, let them know that this is an open space. If anything feels too much or too crazy to you, girl, let me know. You know, I won't bite. I promise you. <laughs> so I always like, you know, ask them questions and see how they're doing throughout any service that I do.
Um, I go in with the enzyme. So I like to do my microdermabrasion first and then go in with the enzyme to deeper exfoliate the skin. And when you do the microdermabrasion first, I find that the enzymes and the products after are really able to penetrate the skin and really have those active ingredients active okay so that's my technique if you have anything different as long as it's worth and it's safe for your client you know do your thing the enzyme that i'm using is the cherry enzyme max from skin script and i also paired that with the goji berry yogurt mask also from skin script i do that to kind of dilute the um enzyme just a little bit because the cherry is a high enzyme mask and i want to make sure i don't um disrupt the client's skin barrier and plus we did do the microdermabrasion first so the skin is exposed so to dilute that cherry enzyme I'm using the Goji Berry Yogurt Mask. And it's gonna still give the great effects. I'm still gonna able to exfoliate your skin um, and, and do the extractions afterwards. But to make sure, you know, we're not doing too much, but still doing enough at the same time, I mix those two masks together. So that's one of my hacks I like to do. Um, I like to mix the enzyme with a um a nice mask a little cocktail to sometimes dilute it or if i'm just feeling a little festive a little creative i like to you know do my one and two <laughs> so that enzyme little cocktail we made i'm going to leave that on for about 10 minutes and then of course the hot towel everyone loves a good hot towel and I just like to let that sit and press into the skin for a moment to, you know, really relax the client. They really enjoy it. So don't be in a rush, you know, take your time. Once all the products are removed, now it's time for my favorite part and the client's least favorite part, extractions. Um, I try to get as much as I can uh, before their skin tries to or starts like drying up and their pores starts to um, not become as expanded. So I really focus on her shoulders because she had so many um, that was ready to just pop out on her shoulders. Um, but yeah, that was really one of her main concerns, those breakouts on her shoulders. So we definitely took care of that for her. So after we got done doing the extractions, I went ahead and toned her skin for the last time. And then I'm using another cocktail. This cocktail is going to calm the skin after all that microdermabrasion, exfoliating, um, extractions. So I'm using the seaweed uh, mask from Skin Script and then also a charcoal cleansing um, clay mask. And that charcoal is also going to help with those impurities and just bring everything up to the surface that I wasn't able to get during the extractions.
removing the second warm towel now it's time for me to do my little back massage y'all i am not a massage therapist i am not a masseuse you know i just i like to pretend when i'm doing a back facial so i'm just definitely going to get my client feeling good it's a relaxing service so i'm just going to do what i can do to make their day better uh, i'm using the um, jojoba oil and yeah my clients love it a little back massage i'm a therapist for like four minutes during the back facial facial um but yeah you know i do my little thing <laughs> wrapping up this service so after i get done pretending to be a masseuse then i go in with the moisturizer and serums um just to you know hydrate and really treat the skin and you guys thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope you really enjoy it my goal this year is to put out more content more youtube videos because <laughs> why not <laughs> And I'll see y'all in the next video. Let me know in the comments what you think, your thoughts, and if you want to see more videos like this.